Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Mac Break Work. I'm here again. I'm really here again. Yes. With Richard Harrington. Uh, it's not just that, that, that he's here with me. I'm here with... With Rich. Yeah, if you stare and you watch the show, the desk kind of changed temporarily. It did. It's not so, it's not so roundy and swirly. We're, we're actually shooting uh, from, from uh, it's, it's uh, Church Falls, right? Falls Church. Falls Church. Yes, just outside D.C. Just outside of D.C. Mm -hmm. So what are we going to talk about today? Uh, we're taking a look at object transitions and aligning things in Keynote so you can get nice spacing and then do cool animated transitions between slides. Fantastic. So here we're just sort of building a slide for an end of a presentation where mm -hmm. you put your contact information up for clients. Right. And you want to get everything sort of evenly spaced. Now, when I used to do that, I used to like eye it up, or I'd use a little, uh, I'd use a little rectangle, and I'd make mm -hmm. sure that it was the same rectangle from from piece to piece. You don't yeah, need to do that. Yeah, that works. There's a couple of tools in Keynote and all through iWork that help now. So right. as you're dragging things, you see those little pop-up guides. Right. Like that'll let you know. Oh, okay, that's even with that one. Mm -hmm. So you know, I could select those two, just shift click, and when you do that, you could say group. You know, so that works fine if you need that. You know, we can grab two, and we'll just group those. And you see, as we start to go through, it gets pretty easy. Of course, that one doesn't want to group. <laughs> but it's the, always something. Yeah, it's always something. But we'll deal with that last one in a moment. But we're just getting these selected so we can treat them as entire units all at once. And they're lined up to each other already. So they're already centered to each other. The key is now we want to create an even spacing between them. Yeah, like there's this giant gap at the bottom, and mm -hmm. these are up and down. So we could just you know, go ahead and, and lasso around these. And what we could say is arrange distribute objects vertically. And all the right. spacing goes. And what it does is it uses the first one and the last one as the anchors. Right. And everything in between moves. Absolutely. And that's definitely, I mean, when we see a lot of this stuff in Photoshop and Illustrator, those have been in there for a long time, and a lot of people skip over them. They don't use yeah. them. I skipped over them for a long time. Well, and, uh, computers are stupid on a lot of things, but when it comes to like basic math and aligning, yeah, they're really good at it. They're really good. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Much better than I am. Mm -hmm. So, you know, on this slide, it's really similar. Like, you know, we've got the same sort of thing happening. Right. So, you know, you could just, you know, and I want to make sure that as you go between slides, things are the same. So, one thing that people forget is you can always call up the inspector and check the actual position. Mm -hmm. So this, you know, I could check this first one and say, oh, that's at 175. Back on this other slide, I see the same thing. Right. So that way, when you go between slides, things don't look like they jump. Right. And you want that. So, you know, we'll just quickly, you know, group those together, and we're just going to do the same thing to space them out so it stays nice and even. And that's not hard. Uh, and it's, you know, all you're trying to do there is get a nice, even spacing. Now, you know, we have some similarity between slides. Quick lasso, so you got to be careful where you mm -hmm. drag. So you know, we got those there, great. And it's just arrange, distribute vertically, and now they're even. Except for that. Except for that. that but one text. That, that one. Uh, one text didn't get along. Yeah. I'm not sure what they, what it is about those top ones. Though. I don't know. We'll ignore it and we'll just fix it manually. If it makes you feel better, everyone has problems with their computers. <laughs> So there, there you go. go. So it's all lined up. Yep. Now, between the two slides, there's a really cool new transition that's mm -hmm. part of the Keynote 09. Right. Yeah. So what we can do is if we go to our inspector for slide, you got transition. Mm -hmm. And you always select the slide before the one you want to do the transition. And so under here, we've got a new category for objects, push, zoom, perspective, yeah, and resolve. Yeah, I love these transitions. Yeah. So like you see the little preview there, like push sort mm -hmm. of slides them out. And you could say which way you want, like top to bottom or whatnot, you know, and set the timing, of course. Usually I like to do a little faster. But the one that I love that's really dynamic is that object zoom. Yeah. Yeah. And it just adds so much. These, these new uh, transitions, the object transitions, add so much production value or perceived production value. Yeah. Because up until this was in something like Keynote, you would hire somebody, you would hire one of us. Yeah. <laughs> it's like <You'd> motion graphic <laughs> artist. Yeah, motion graphic <laughs> artist. Um, to do those for you, you pay a lot of money for it. And we've had to find another line of work, which is why we're here doing podcasts. Yes, so. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Send cookies. Yeah. So, and, and there's other ones. Like, I really like the perspective one, which sort yeah. of takes it at an angle. And then we'll select this one. And just for some variety, we'll go to that last one there. We'll try revolve. And you see things sort of turn. Yeah. And you could set the direction, right to left. 
I like simultaneous sometimes for a nice, you know, sort of gentle one. Right. Or you can do, you know, any of those in there, like random's kind of fun if you've got a lot of objects. Right. So, you know, and then let's just run those from the top there. And what you see is you're getting a really nice, you know, as we click from one slide to the next, right. precise sort of animation. Mm -hmm. We're flying through, you know. And that would take a long time to animate in motion or After Effects or anything else. I mean, it would be painful. Yeah, and to be perfectly honest, there are times that when I, we're doing educational videos, sometimes we'll get someone's PowerPoint presentation if they're not enlightened and using Keynote. We'll convert it to Keynote. <laughs> right, exactly. And we'll just set it to a high def video size. Right. And then just export that QuickTime movie. Right. Which we covered a couple episodes back. Yep. Yeah, so, you know, just great transitions that are really, really nice that mm -hmm. they're new and people might have missed them. Yeah, fantastic. Great. Where can people find more of your stuff? Uh, they could take a look on Twitter at RedPixel or. Uh, a lot of books. You could take out the Apple iWork official book, mm -hmm. and uh, we did that. Excellent. Good. Thanks so much, Rich. Thanks for having me. And thank you for watching Mac Break Work.